It's a great day. Are you guys ready to do this? All right, first I want to talk about two knives, one that came to the show, one we're getting rid of, and then we're going to get into our pressure cooker versus slow cooker competition. Do you remember when I did that with the turkey, uh, turkey wings in the spaghetti sauce and they came out identical? Well, I don't want to do beef bone broth for 48 hours. So I want to, I want to ensure that pressure cooker will give me the same flavor as slow cooking it for 48 hours. So we're going to do them side by side. You guys ready? Are you ready? Okay guys, you remember the Groove Tech knife? Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I bought it off, was it QVC or? I think it was QVC. Anyway, uh, it has all these grooves to prevent anything from sticking to the knife. I just, I will tell you this. It definitely, nothing stuck too often. <laughs> There were a few times it still stuck to the knife, but uh, it claims nothing will ever stick to this knife. That wasn't true. Over time, things stuck to the knife, especially tomatoes, cheese, that kind of stuff. But uh, it, it, most of the time, it fell off the knife. Anyway, I, I just don't like the knife. I don't like the way the handle feels. It feels cheap. Um, I just, I'm just not a fan of it. It gets dull fast. It feels like a Farberware knife with grooves on it. That's all it feels like, or a, a Chicago cutlery. Something you'd find at Target. Anyway, uh, I'm not a fan of it, so we're getting rid of it off the show. I don't want to do it the rest of the year. Plus, I got this other new knife I want to use, and I know nothing about them. I'm just going to tell you what I see on the cover. They sent it to me. They asked if I wanted to try it on the show. It's called Kuma. I have no idea any of its... Uh, I'll give you a full review about it later, but you're going to see it. It's a chef knife. There it is. All right. And uh, let's see, is it Japanese? It's an eight inch stainless, oh, it's stainless steel chef's knife, just plain old stainless steel. It was only $20, that's the reason why I did it. $20 knife, if I could find an inexpensive knife for you guys that, that holds its edge and keeps its quality, uh, we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna try this for a while on the show, I'll let you know if I like it or not. But there it is, it's called Kuma Chef's Knife. Pretty simple, what I did with the chicken bones, I'm doing the same thing with the beef bones. Beef bones here, beef bones here. This is going to be slow cooker, this is going to be pressure cooker. Red onion, red onion, carrots and celery in both. All right, first thing we're going to do is get these in the oven about four, what do I got, 400 degrees? We're going to roast these 35 to 45 minutes. They should become fragrant. Okay, so let's get these in the oven right now. All right, so let's try this out. Ready? Here we go. Mm, yep, we cut it. Let's try the other side. Not bad, so it's got a good edge to start. We'll see how long the edge lasts. So let's do this. We may only need like half of what I bought. So one, two, look how, look how cooked up they are, two. All right guys, each one has 12 bones in it. 12 in the slow cooker, 12 in the pressure cooker. So here is the end result. A few things to talk about. This is the pressure cooker one. This is the slow cooker one. This is all I got out of the slow cooker. This is half of what I got out of the pressure cooker. There's a whole nother jar of bone broth. Okay, so you get more, but it looks like a weaker, a weaker, we're gonna try it in a minute, but it looks weaker than this one. All right, I've already taken the gunk off this one when, when it surfaced because the pressure cooker was done in two hours. I haven't done this one yet. So what you want to do is once you put it in the refrigerator, it's like fat or grease or whatever, or I have no idea what it is, but you're going to want to open it up and just take a spoon and just, just get most of it out. You're not going to get it all out, but oh, you might get it all out. It's like a, like a big old chunk in there. Let's see. All right, there you go. I just got it all out. And it's a nice cold day too, to be sipping on bone broth. Here we go. This is the pressure cooker one, the lighter colored one. Very, 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 very weak. Not a lot of flavor at all. Okay, the slow cooker is the way to go. Now, I could tell by color, but I wanted to make sure. 
literally, the pressure cooker has very, like, almost no flavor. It's very bland. The slow cooker, do the time. Do the 24 hours minimum, okay? Let it, it takes a long time, but it's not hard to do. Make your own bone broth. Start using this instead of beef broth or beef stock from the store. Make this, freeze it in ice cube trays, freeze it in any container you can, and just pull that out and use beef bone broth for a healthier choice instead of regular broth. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to sip on this and enjoy this, and you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.